Okay, now we're going to skip back to the last numbering system that I'd like to talk about, the numbering system of ancient Babylon. The, uh, well, I don't know if it's Babylon or Mesopotamia. We're talking about the land between the Tigris and the Euphrates. It's in modern-day Iraq. It, uh, there used to be great civilizations there. They, um, they were these walled cities, and they were constantly at war with each other, and they were also at trade with each other. Uh, some people say that some, one of the cities had sort of a base 12 system or a base 6 system and another group had a base 20 system and maybe a base 10 system. What they ended up doing was they compromised with a base 60 system. Sounds a little crazy? It is a little crazy. That is to say that you have the 1's place and then the 60's place and then the 60 times 60's place. That's the 36 hundreds place. And then after that, multiply by that by 60 again, and you get 216 thousands place. Oh, and after the, the ones place, there's the 160th place. And then the 136 hundreds place. They didn't have digits going up to 60. What they had was they were working with clay tablets and they would have these reed styluses. And if you pushed into the clay with one end of the reed, you could make a little triangular shape. That's pretty lousy. Sort of like this. I forget which way they pointed. And with the other one, you could make this little T-type shape. I'm going to symbolize them by a triangle and line. The triangles were 10, the lines were 1. Let me put that up somewhere in case you want to see that again. So what they would do is if you had, let's say, um, you could have up to five triangles and nine ones before you'd go to the next place. So this number, triangle, triangle, line, 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 is 25. But this number is triangle, triangle, line, 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 is 25 times 60, which is, oof, if I had six quarters in my pocket, I've got a buck 50, so that's a buck 50, 1,500. So in some sense, this is more powerful than our system, just using two places, they can represent a number up to 1,500. Now, one crazy thing about the Babylonians, they would just write this number down. They wouldn't write down the places for you. Why is that not catching? So if you just saw this, you would have no idea if that was 25 or 1500, or maybe it's 25 36 hundredths, or maybe it's 25 sixtieths. It's a little less than half. How would you know? You would have to know from context. If Alexander the Great writes you a letter and says, hey, where's those this many goats uh, you promised to give me in exchange for me not killing all of you, you probably know he's not talking about 25 goats. Maybe you know he's talking about 1,500 goats. So this is sort of this um, a problem that you would have. They didn't have a zero. The zero was a huge invention of mathematicians. They didn't have a zero. They didn't have a decimal point. You know, we have a little decimal point that you know where you switch over from the whole number part to the decimals, to the, the bits of number part. But they didn't have that in, in ancient Babylon. Um, so let's just do a couple of these problems. Let's say you want, um, do, 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 do. let's say someone says, uh, um, triangle, line, 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 and then triangle, 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 line, line, line. What is this? This number represents 10 and 6 ones is 16. This is clearly a 2, and this is clearly 3 tens and 3 ones, 33, which is to say we're talking about 16 times 3600 plus 2 times 60 plus 33 times 1 which, oh, let's just bust out a calculator and say 16 times 3600 
plus 120 plus 33 is 57,753. 57753. 57753 in base 10. And let's do one example going the other way. How do you turn a number from base 10 into a Babylonian number? Let's say we want, oh, 10,391. 10,391, we're not going to need fractions for that. So the question is, well, let's see, 216,000. Do we have any 216,000? No, that's much bigger. We don't have, you could put a zero there, but we don't generally. 3,600. Are there 3,600s in it? Yes. How many? I use a calculator. I say I have 10,391. If I divide that by 3,600, I get two and change. That means that there are two 3600s in that number. Now, two 3600s is two times 3600, which is 7200. So I just by putting that two there, I have taken I have taken 7200 away from the number. And that's 193 uh, 1 3 3191 left. Well, there's going to be quite a few 60s in there. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Well, okay, I'll, I'll do that at the end. Um, that's not a 2. We don't represent a 2 that way. We represent the 2 like this. Notch, notch. Okay, so now I have 3,191 left. And I divide that by 60. And I get 53 and change. 53. Well, what is 53? 53 times 60 is 3180. So I'm getting rid of 3180 if I put a 53 here. Now, you don't write a 53 like that. It's like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. That's 50 and 1, 2, 3. And when you subtract this, there is 11 left. And 11 is represented with a triangle and a 1. So what we do is we say 10,391 in base 10 would be written by the Babylonians as 1, 1, triangle, 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 1, 1, 1, and then triangle 1. And you kind of want to indicate that there's sort of a little bit of a space, that there's three different places. This is 11 in the 1's place, this is 53 in the 60's place, and this is a 2 in the 3600's place. Um, this sounds bizarre. This sounds crazy. You might very well be thinking, why on earth am I being taught this? Well, because the Babylonians are so important. The Babylonians are so important in modern day life. We still use base 60 in everyday life. Why are there 60 seconds in a minute? Why are there 60 minutes in an hour? Because of the ancient Babylonians. Why are there 360 degrees in a circle? Because of the Babylonians. In fact, a one, uh, if you break a, a degree, a tiny little angle of one degree into 60 parts, each one of those parts is called a minute. And if you break one of those up into bits, each one of those is called a second. Crazy, crazy stuff. And in fact, if I said, hey, look at this right now. It is 3.23 p.m. 3.23 p.m. If I were to say, hey, how many seconds has it been since midnight? It, it, I happen to be doing this on New Year's Day. So how many seconds ha into the new year am I? Well, well, let's, let's say, let's say it's 3.23 and, can I get it exactly? 3.23 and 37 seconds and 37 seconds. So it's 37 seconds, 23 minutes. Each one of those minutes is 60 seconds. And actually, it's not technically three hours past midnight. It's 15 hours from midnight. So I would put a 15 there. Uh, this is, what is that, uh, military time? 
They'd say, oh, 300 is 3 o'clock in the morning, 1500 is 3 o'clock in the afternoon. So this is how many seconds there have been so far today. 15 times 3600 plus 23 times 60 plus 37. Anyway, just a cute idea. The, uh, we still, the ancient Babylonians still have some pull on us these days. We, the human race has been following on an if it ain't broke, don't fix it mentality for a very, very long time. And gosh, the Babylonians, we're talking 10,000 to 2,000. Um, they are about as old as the Egyptians, I'd say, uh, I think. And we still count things by 60s because they do, because, because it works.